My name is Samuel Svahl, uh, also known as Boxy, and I play Offering from Team Liquid. I've played Dota 2 competitively for, I think, like three to four years now, just about. Uh, and before that, I played competitive Heroes of Nerf for a very, very long period of time. And even before that, when I was a little kid, I played Dota 1. Um, started out in net cafes. I was maybe six, seven years old. Played with like my older brother and his friends. Uh, and I got like a big interest in that. And I kept playing maybe until I was like 10. Here's the nerf came out. I switched to that game. So I've pretty much been playing MOBAs like more than half my life. Um, I played competitive Here's of nerf at the same time as I like fi finished high school. And then like six months or one year after high school, I really started playing Dota at like a high level. I think what motivates me is a lot of the time like action in my life or like I'm a real like adrenaline chaser. Um, I like to like go snowboarding and like downhill mountain biking and stuff like that. I think like high speed stuff is very fun. So I think Dota in a way it's kind of the same. There's a lot of like quick decision making, a lot of like high tempo action. It's really like challenging and I think things that are challenging uh, are also very rewarding. And that's what motivates me at least, like the competition the feeling of being better than other people or like being part of something that's like very fast and adventurous in a way. So I've played MOBAs for, let's see, I think 12 years now. Um, or I played Dora at least for that point of time. And I think like MOBAs in total with Han, I played since I was six or seven. So that's like, like 16 years of my life, um, which is probably more experience than most people have. I played on a top team now in Liquid for um, two years, a little bit soon, I think at least. I'm not really sure. Either way, for a very long time. And before that, I played on other competitive teams. I used to be rank one on the leaderboards. Um, I think right now MMR is not something that really like matters so much for me. But I do know like if I want to win or if I want to win like rank games, I also know how to do it. Um, I think that I've taught myself a lot. Like over the years, I haven't really like looked at any guides or like had any people like helping me out too much. I've just learned from like trial and failure. Um, I think if you don't make any mistakes, you're never really learning. No matter kind of what you do in life, like even if you're, let's say you're snowboarding or even if you're playing soccer or something, like if you're not making any mistakes, you're playing it too safe. Um, so I would say the, the best thing for me is that like I've tried and failed for so many times, for so many years that now I, like, I kind of not really know what I want to do and I have the experience to help other people maybe get there a little bit quicker without failing so many times. The reason why I wanted to make this course is because I think like I have a lot of ideas and experience about the game that I really like to share. I really like love this game. I think it's super fun to play and I wish a lot of people like feels the same way and I want people to I guess like appreciate the, the deeper level of it and to like understand there's just a lot of depth and a lot of like even untapped knowledge, I think. Uh, every year there's like new things that people do, new things that people improve on. So I'm trying to like share it to people that are maybe like playing at a little bit lower ranks, some of the thoughts and ideas that like high level people have. Um, I think it's really fun to like help others and to help other people getting better. But it's also pretty hard for me to like reach out to a lot of people or maybe if I stream, I try and like answer questions. But I think this is a really like big opportunity for me to really like spread the help and like, kind of get my message about the game out. And I would like to inspire people to think a little bit of their own, to try and like be very critical when they play, not only follow like the meta builds or the cookie cutter builds or whatever other people tell you. I think that it's gonna of course lead to some failure, but I think by failing you also learn the most. And I think by being able to trust yourself, you have a lot more fun and being able to like think that I'm doing this because I think it's good and like I think this is what I want to do to win, even if your team is telling you no, don't buy this item or no, don't pick that hero. If you're finding success with it, it's a lot more fun than to just copy whatever somebody else is telling you. Of course, I'm telling you some things during this course that I think you should do, but I think most, most of all, I think you should think for yourself and I think you should like try and do what you think is best. And if it turns out that it wasn't good, well then you know for next time maybe what is better. I think what makes my playstyle unique to other offlaners is that I play very dominant. Um, I like to punish like every little mistake that I can. And of course that's pushing your limits is kind of what puts you in danger as well, or that's like what's risky, right? So I end up like failing a lot of the time, but because I play aggressive and I try and I fail, uh, I also learn like how to do it better next time. So I think like for me, mostly because I'm playing so dominant and aggressive, people are very scared of like laning against me. Uh, I think I'm very good at like laning and last hitting. I'm very good at snowballing to like shut people down. I know where like how people think, where they want to be on the map. I know how to like chase them down. 
and to really be aggressive. In this course, I'm going to try and teach you the ins and outs of offlane. I'm going to try and cover all the different parts of the game, whether it be like early game, mid game, laning, team fights, kind of whatever you can think of. I think that it's very important to have the right mindset. And I think I'm going to try and teach you both what you should do, but also like how to think about things and how to approach things so that you can improve on your own and not only like copy other people or look at what other people do. This is a course with a lot of episodes and there's a lot of information in it and I try to cover as much as I can. But it's also important that to take it all in, you shouldn't like rush through it and watch all the episodes at once. And you probably even have to go back and rewatch a few, a few things. I would suggest that maybe you watch an episode and then you play a few games and you try and really focus on the things I've said. Maybe if you watch, for example, team fighting, every time you're about to take a team fight, you try and think about the points that I've made and then maybe you go back and watch it again and see if there's anything you missed or anything that you remembered well.